or Ami Babbers, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and dingle my bell to make sure you don't miss any more physical media goodness. On with the show. All right, me babbers, Bristoli and Dave back here again. And guess what? I've got another collection update video. Uh, so this is a haul from kind of all over, to be honest. Uh, I'll try to remember where I got everything as I go through it. Some really cool stuff. Uh, mainly Blu-rays, but a couple of DVDs are stuck in there as well. Uh, so we're going to dive in. Um, and as the little intro said, make sure you like, sub, and Shout to stream, all right, go. Stream? It's not a stream, it's a video. You know what? I am so tired, but that's fine because I got physical media goodness to show you. So, first up, uh, I went to a British Heart Foundation charity shop near me. Um, got some cool titles. So, all these, uh, so six DVDs, they were all for 50p each or three for a pound. So, I got three for a pound, of course. Uh, the first thing I got is uh, The Smell of Success. I've never heard of it, but it's got Billy Bob Thornton in. So I was like, it's got to be some kind of good, doesn't it? I don't know. Um, this was really cool. Uh, Raw Head Rex. I mean, just look at that over the top cheesiness. That uh, looks like it's going to be fun. Ridiculous, but fun. Uh, and then we've got Judy Dench and Kate Winslet in Iris. Again, never seen it. Could be good. Uh, this is the complete fourth season of Community. I think I've got seasons one to three. I'll have to double check. Um, if not, I go back to Cherry. But yeah, Community. Um, this was cool. I've never heard of it. Uh, it's a title put out by Manga Entertainment. Uh, Tetsujin 28. And this is the first volume. Uh, so I don't know when it was when it was made, right? looks cool and whenever i see an anime title that cheap i always pick it up regardless um da, 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 well i'll have to check on that i have to do some more research um and then a double pack of the funeral and the addiction so it's a uh, abel ferrara double pack very cool and actually yes christopher walkins in the addiction oh and he's in the funeral Oh, okay, could be good. And I also got a Blu-ray from them as well, which ended up being 50p. Uh, and that is The Day the Earth Stood Still. This is the remake with Keanu Reeves. I love Keanu Reeves. I quite like this movie. Um, for 50p, I'm adding it to my collection. Uh, and I'll probably give it a watch sometime in the future. Maybe. So that was everything from the British Heart Foundation. Uh, the next title I picked up from CEX, and I know that because it's still got its label on it. I've already watched it because I had to watch it straight away. Um, and it's amazing. I love this series so much. And that is Attack on Titan Season 3. I almost picked it up in HMV for like £33, I think they had it for. Um, but this was £18 in CEX. So I was like, you know what? That's a deal. A saving of fifteen pound and the thing's in perfect condition. So, absolutely. If you ha if you need an anime to watch, watch Attack on Titan. It is fantastic, real emotional, really cool action. Bit of horror in it as well. Highly recommend. The next two titles were from Amazon. Um, so I got notified via Facebook group that uh. Amazon had some stupidly good deals on. Um, unfortunately, I missed out on most of them because they were all sold out by the time I got there. Uh, but I got these two, and they were worked out about £2 each. £2 and a couple of pence. Uh, the first is Justice League versus Teen Titans. I love the DC animated movies. Um, so I want to check this one out. And then we've also got Superman, Man of Tomorrow. Uh, so at £2 each, I'm not going to complain. Uh, the next uh, two were from eBay. Uh, so this one I've been wanting to watch for a while. It stars Bradley Cooper and that is Burnt. Uh, I've heard good things. Uh, Bradley Cooper works as a chef, I believe. Um, and I like watching cooking shows. So movie about cooking. 
I don't know. Uh, and Astonishing X-Men, Dangerous. I picked up two, I can't remember the titles of them, but there's two of these I picked up from uh, Poundland for £2 each. But I couldn't find this. So I got this one. And there's one more to get, I think. Uh, I think there's four of Marvel. It's the Marvel Knights animations. Um, yeah, I look forward to watching this. Once I got all of them. Uh, next title was from Poundland. Uh, and that is Moonraker. Uh, 007. Two pound. Uh, so this is obviously the one with Roger Moore. Uh, Roger Moore. Oh, see now, who's the best Bond? That's the question. I'm not going to answer on this video, but maybe a video in the future. Uh, and then this final lot was all from HMV. Uh, now, half of it uh, was from... Now, half of it was from uh, a few weeks back, and I forgot completely to put it on here. So... I'm now doing it. Um, I've got masses of stuff that I still need to do videos on, so it's coming. Don't worry, guys. You will see everything eventually. Um, so these titles I got a little while ago. Uh, that was when the Arrow sale was still on, so it's about a month ago now, I think. About a month. Um, so these were seven ninety nine each. Uh, so we've got two thousand maniacs. Which I want to pick up and watch because I've seen, um, is it two, 2001 Maniacs? The one with Robert England. And I really liked it. So I watched this and this is obviously a much older film. So the effects aren't going to be quite the same. Um, but no, I, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed, is that the right word for this kind of movie? Maybe. But I do recommend it. It's very, very cool. Um, and then this one, uh, also seven ninety nine. is a Colobos, 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 that word, um, yeah, it was cool, I, I picked it up because it said uh, that it was like Saw before Saw was Saw, how many times can you say Saw in a sentence, um, yeah, I liked it again, good little horror, um, recommend, uh, this one I haven't watched yet, but it looked real creepy, and it's a more recent movie. Uh, I See You. Uh, looks about like it plays on your fears of being at home and being watched. And it's got a Helen Hunt in it, so I was like, okay, sounds cool. See, you know the only thing I hate with the Arrow releases, right? Because it annoys me, because I like to look at the back and look at the pictures. They never come with any pictures on the back. It's all writing. I don't want to read that much. I want to see pictures. Um... Uh, but yeah, real cool, real cool. And this one I got as well as a box set of uh, Deep Sea, Deep Sea 2, and Deep Sea 3. Deep Sea 1, very good movie. Deep Sea 2, not a very good movie. Deep Sea 3, yeah, it's an all right movie. So that's my order. But yeah, very, very good um, box set. I think it cost me $14.99. Uh, so I was like, well, I'll give it a try. I like, I like things like this, like shark movies. Um, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of shit ones. But there's also some really good ones. Uh, and then this title. It says $14.99 on the back. But um, someone notified me that actually it was $5.99 in store. So I got my scanner and it came up as $5.99. Um, they did look at me a bit stupid. Because they were like, well, it says $14.99. I was like, do you just give it a scan and see what a scan's in at? Uh, and they looked at me like I was, like, some fucking idiot. I was like, I worked for you guys before. I know this worked. Don't, don't push me. Um, so they scanned it. It was five ninety nine. I was like, all right, I'll have that. And they just looked at me like, oh, maybe he's not so stupid. And I'm like, that's the story of my life. Um, so Firestar with, uh, well, Stephen King's Firestar with, uh, oh, shit, what's her name? I forgot again. What was her name? Why is it gone? Drew Barrymore. Why am I forgetting that? Um, yeah, I've got it on DVD, but I've never actually seen it. And I thought this is a very nice release. As you see, it's got like a nice little box on it. Um, put out by Plan B Entertainment uh, for five ninety nine. I'm upgrading 
and I will watch this soon. Uh, the final title I got uh, was from, again, HMV uh, a couple of weeks ago. And they had a sale on their manga titles. Um, but the way they had laid it out looked like everything in the anime section was on offer. Uh, so I was like, oh, cool. So I picked up a few things and they were like, oh, no, it's only this. It's this guy. And I'm like, well, it's fine. And they were like, yeah, it's not. So I got sad. I know I was alright because I was like, oh fuck it, I got enough anyway. Um so I just picked up one title that they had on sale um for $4.99. Um and I've talked about it on one of my live streams is I'm really enjoying anime drama movies. Um they're very, very good. And I'm hoping this one will be two. So four ninety nine, it was the Garden of Worlds. It looks very cool. Um I really like the animation style, I don't know if my camera will show it well. But I've watched a lot of um these like anime dramas now, like uh I have to look up at the collection now. It's all up there. Don't worry, I'm not I'm not just being weird. Uh The Corner of the World, that was good. Um Your Song, that was another good one. Um oh, what was the can't remember the others. Shite. It's gone. Anyway, you can catch it on, on the anime stream. I'm um, talking to pictures we did a while ago. Um, all on there, I talked about it. But yeah, really looking forward to this. Fingers crossed. It's as good as I hope. So guys, that is everything. So as usual, let me know what you thought of the titles I picked up. Let me know if I got any bargains. Let me know if you recommend any of these. Let me know if you don't. Um, and let me know what you've been picking up. So thank you very much for watching. I have no words of advice today because I've blabbered on enough. Um, and I will see you next time with more physical media goodness. Hit like, hit subscribe. Cheers me babbers. See you next time.